After the news of F-414 engine local production in India, Saab India has expressed increased optimism for its Gripen in the 114 MRFA tender, as the Gripen E fighter jet also utilizes the same F-414 engine. The Gripen E also possesses the same weapons package as the Rafale aircraft, including the Meteor rare-to-air missile and Scalp stealth long-range air-launched cruise missile. However, the road may not be entirely smooth for the Gripen in India, as the indigenous Tejas Mark II falls within the same 17.5 ton weight category, and India is investing on the Tejas Mark II program to enhance its squadron strength. The Indian Air Force is preparing to welcome the first three Tejas Mark I aircraft, that are set to be delivered in March 2024. Thereafter, 16 aircraft have to be delivered per year, and complete handover is to be completed in five years. The Indian Air Force is also firming up plans to order 50 more Tejas Mark I aircraft, and Hindustan Aeronautics expects the order by end of 2024 or early 2025. The US Air Force Research Laboratory Indian Air Force and the DRDO are set to initiate developmental trials of the air-launched unmanned aerial vehicle later this year. That will be conducted from Indian Air Force's C-130J transport aircraft, and will carry out intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance missions. Plans are also underway to develop an armed version capable of being launched from fighter jets, to engage targets within enemy positions, as well as a maritime variant for P-8I aircraft. The Ministry of Defense has signed a 2,725 crore rupees contract with Mazagin Dock Ship Builders, for the medium refit with life certification of INS Shankush, which is a German origin type 209 class submarine. The refit will be carried out by Mazagin Dock, with technical cooperation from Germany's Tissenkrip Marine Systems, and the delivery of submarine with upgraded combat capability will happen in 2026. The DRDO has come under scrutiny for utilizing Chinese Hikvision CCTV cameras inside the ground control station of the Tapas drone, as the Chinese company is owned and controlled by the Chinese military, and valid concerns were raised about potential vulnerabilities. The picture also shows that the DRDO is still employing outdated Windows 7 software, as Microsoft is no longer providing security updates or technical support for Windows 7 since January 2020, that exposes the computer systems to potential security risks. Bharat Electronics Limited has said, that it has received new orders worth 2,191 crore rupees for supplying long-range guidance kits with warheads, airborne jammers, upgrade of battlefield short-range surveillance radars, missile guidance radars, shallow watercraft sonars and spares. During the visit of Philippines Foreign Affairs Secretary Enrique Manalo, the Indian government has extended a loan offer to help finance defense requirements of Philippines, such as acquiring naval assets, expanding joint exercises and intensifying training. The two foreign ministers also discussed the opening of an Indian defense attaché in Manila, who will be on top of defense arrangements and security developments in the region. After months of objections, the Army Navy and Indian Air Force are 99% on board the broad contours of the theater commands being given shape by the Chief of Defense Staff. There will be three theater commands based on geographical boundaries, two will be land-based and one will be maritime, while other joint commands will be logistics training cyberspace missiles and intelligence.